up and floating here cause I'm grounded, chill. What you calling for so we're not dead? Do it all again. Just do it all again. Josh never, ever misses. Ever. Ever. Don't tell me he ever misses, because he just doesn't. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Herrera here. I hope that you are all doing well. I'm still picking up on those songs that I have missed or forgotten about along the way, and although you recommended that I watch the live performance of Mana on the Wish Bus, um, it's not English subbed. And you know that lyrics are really important to me, and so I thought I'd watch a lyric video before going into it. I think I'm going to be able to post this together, but if not, we'll kind of see what happens. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this is going to be. I don't think it's another ballad. I think it's going to be one of their quirky mid-tempo songs. But yeah, mana means inheritance. Oh! You know, if Ken starts off like that, this song is the business. There was not even a single moment in that where I could have paused it. It would have completely ruined the flow of the entire song. The song does not give you a second to breathe. And it's really reminding me of those punchier songs that they have. Um, like what? Like Berzinga, do you know? It's got that sort of an essence to it. Um, that opening from Ken, <laughs> he's quite the opener for their songs, I have to say. Whether he sings or whether he's rapping, he's really good at setting the mood. <laughs> This is going to be so good live. It's an interesting tempo. Because I can imagine there being choreography to this. But also they could just perform it like straight with microphones, mic stands, you know? And I think it won't make sense to me until I actually see the whole thing written down, like what part of that is the chorus. But what it sounds to me like is that this like tune in the middle is kind of like the chorus. That's the hook. That's the kind of thing that you're going to have like playing in the back of your mind. And that's really different because their songs are usually so full of words that it's a little unusual to have this, have this much space. I don't know how to digest this. Nice. I mean, rap harmonization. I need to hear that live. I'm not. 
they throw a right spanner in the works right there because they've given me something completely different to focus on. What I'm not focusing on in this so much is all of those voices that I love so much. The main takeaway from this song is actually that track. You could listen to this piece as an instrumental and that is quite the masterpiece. It's really interesting to listen to, quite pumpy, and you still somewhat get the feel of the story even if you didn't have the lyrics. Like, even if I didn't have the translation up, I kind of feel this depth in the song. I cannot wait to hear this live. This will be very interesting as to how they stage it. Um, but again, they're giving me something completely different to what they've given me previously. Like I said, they can fill a song to the absolute brim with depth, emotion, lyricism, genius vocals. But here they're giving me a little bit of space, of space to breathe, and I don't really know what to do with it, because usually I'm attacked by them. But I'm kind of taking a back seat. I'm hearing them from a different space. I don't know if any of what I've just said makes any sense. I hope that the song will make a little bit more sense to me as I go on to watch some of the live performances of it. Next up is the Wish Bus performance, and then separately I'll have a look at a stage performance of it to see whether there's any choreography or anything. Um, let's move on. Wish. 1075. I am sorry to be pausing it already, but the impact that his live voice just had on me, it's just not the same as the official track, is it? I kind of feel like, you know when you walk into a closed door, or you stub your foot, it's that kind of a jutting feeling oh my goodness i mean i know what he sounds like and i should always expect it yet i'm never ready for it what is this ken hey. it's frightening <laughs> Wow. Wow. I love it. It just came to life, the layering of their voices, the harmonization, all of their personalities coming into a song like this. It's almost like they're chanting, you know? It's amazing the power that they have as a five. <laughs> I honestly feel enchanted by them, like I can't stop watching, I can't stop learning. Oh, they want to move. Yo, yo, here we go. Listen. Do it all again. Just do it all again. Josh never, ever misses. Ever. Ever. Don't tell me he ever misses, because he just doesn't. His whole vibe is just meant to be on a stage. Listen. 
I'm listening. And what a trio they are. Josh, Justin, and Ken. What a trio they are. Like, will we ever get subunit music from them? Because that would be one hell of a subunit, don't you think? Like, you get the two lighter voices of SB19, both rap and vocals, and then you get a demon, <laughs> and you sprinkle that demon all over them. I mean, what? I just, wow, I'm blown away. <laughs> Hey. I can't imagine her future to this now. Look at how much they enjoy their own songs. Y'all ready? Check. What world is this? So I'm sorry, somebody needs to pinch me or slap me around the face because I, I really don't know where I am anymore. Um, I have, I'm, so I'm undiagnosed, but I have a specific hearing um, issue. Um, I don't really know how, how to explain it, but I'm really sensitive to sound. It instantly just makes me feel things. I feel sometimes a little bit overwhelmed by sound. And for example, if I go at uh, anywhere and I hear live music, it, I really, really feel it. Something about live music and the vibrations from the instruments and voices really just makes me feel stuff. And sometimes it's not even that I'm crying, but my eyes fill up with water. Like I've, I've told this story many times that I have been to really famous fountains in the world and they do fountain shows with music and there's vibration, you know, because there's water shooting around all over the place. And I have physically stood there and cried. And it is really just... It's a little bit embarrassing. It's a whole experience, and that's my experience of listening to music. So when I go into stuff like this, when I hear a voice type like Ken, I don't just hear it. I really feel it. It is a whole other level of auditory experience. Like, he is an experience. And then you put all of these layers on of all of their voices, and I just, I can't cope. I feel a bit overwhelmed sometimes by what I'm hit by. Oh my god, this manic One, laughing. Two,
it's a really different experience. This song is not just a song. It's not just to sound nice to the ears, not just one that you jam to. It's actually structured really nicely and it takes you like to different places and it kind of puts them on the map in a different way as well. I, I want more of this. SB19, give me more of this sound. This is playful and not in like a cutesy way this is playful as in their flexing their musicality they're flexing their vocals their abilities there was not one member in this group that did not shine in this freaking song someone jump out of my screen and slap me because i am not dealing with this very well <laughs> i need to watch the live performance of, the, of this like more Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much for recommending this with me to me and for watching it as well. And I hope that you're having fun. Oh my God, I'm still discovering new stuff from them. I feel so lucky. I know there will be a day where I'll have heard everything and then what? I will see you very soon for another live performance of Mana. And until then, take care. Stay safe.